Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, stood in the garage. Um, welcome back, uh, the week before Christmas, so uh, I'm sure lots of Christmas shopping going on and uh, lots of presents being bought. Um, just a very quick update this week on a few things in the garage, a few things that have happened since last we spoke. Next weekend, I want you to look out for Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Uh, we've actually got a two-part uh, film coming from overseas, so I'll say no more than that, but uh, do check in next week, so it'll be quite an interesting film. Um, one of our uh, stag fans has uh, done a film for us, so uh, we'll uh, be, uh, give you a bit more about that later on. Okay, so this week, just wanted to quickly poofle around the, the bench, actually. There's a few things that cropped up during the week that I think um, you'll find interesting, and uh, also picking up on what we said last week. <laughs> Is today is to move the MG VGT and um, Harry's struggled with the battery so we want to use the uh, Mitsubishi Shogun on full go and um, over the... Okay. Is it working? Yes it is. At last. What an Harry. Top work. Very good. It's all running now then which is good. Hasn't run for a little while. It's been to Alan the Welders for a respray. Harry's just putting it back together. Um, still got the uh, front bumper to go on. And the top tip for the weekend is to get, I think he said five meter long jump cables. So that really does help. You're not trying to put cars too close together. In fact, we had the, these wires going through the gates, as you probably saw just now. So uh, really nice long ones. Got them off eBay, apparently. So he's up and running now and uh, we can make some space. All right, so first things first, I thought I'd just check back and circle back on the discussion we had last week about the exhaust manifold on the offside of UES 591S. I won't repeat myself, but you saw last week on the video, if you didn't go back and check last week's film, that we had a problem and that we had a fracture in the downpipe here and uh, that was causing a major exhaust leak and that uh, it obviously had been going for some time. I won't go back over old ground on that. Um, but we had a few people write in this week and, and one person said that actually these can be fixed, um, which is a surprise to me because they are cast metal, but they can be fixed. In fact, one individual said he'd uh, managed to fix his 10, 15 years ago and it's been fine ever since. Um, so I won't chuck this away. If anybody would like to have it, they're more than welcome to it uh, and to repair it so that it lives to fight another day. That would be really good. Um, and also quite a few theories about why this fractured where it did because it's quite an unusual place to go uh, given this is on the side of the engine it's bolted on obviously and uh, this seemed a bit strange so um, a few thoughts about loose studs um, maybe it was some kind of flaw in the metal or something or in the casting or whatever um, but actually uh, I've sussed it and um, based on the conversation we had during the week with uh, one of my erstwhile colleagues, we worked it out. And um, if we go to the diagram in the manual of the exhaust system, this was a side that that, uh, that we're looking at here that broke. And um, I'm sure I won't insult your intelligence that you know that it's a, a kind of um, twin system that comes all the way through to the back. Um, at the very back, underneath the boot, um, on the near side are a couple of ears sticking out the bottom of the boot uh, floor that uh, then the rubbers attached to the exhaust hanger that's uh, on the end there so that was supported there um, the pipes actually do go through the kind of um, uh, kind of uh, chassis subframe here so uh, that uh, is uh, fairly obvious but they should also be held somewhere here too um, underneath the back of the gearbox I believe and on ours you can just see those brackets there actually just sticking out there if I can point them right there just there look if you can see that get it on the focus um, right in the middle of the shot there. That bit here was missing on our exhaust and didn't exist. So basically this whole exhaust pipe has been hanging from here on the back of the manifold that we just showed you, basically all the way through to where it goes through the, um, the kind of chassis and the um, differential kind of legs, if you want to call them that. Um, and really the only thing holding it on was this. So of course, every time we went over a bump or whatever, if you can imagine the flexing in this thing was bouncing around every kind of sleeping police when we went over and whatever so over time that was causing flexing here which then ultimately caused this fracture here so we think we found the cause obviously what we need to do is not drive any further distance until we've now got this bracket back on here and uh, we'll be getting under that into the new year and sorting that out 
soon enough because uh, clearly we don't want it to happen again because it was a pig of a job and uh, cost a few quid and uh, required quite a bit of uh, yeah um, acetylene torching and quenching and everything else so uh, so that's one thing that's really good now whilst we were there um, or the car was there my guy also took a look at the front suspension I just want to have a look at that now if I can and just show you what's happened there Okay, so um, I've dug out the one from UNY 49M, the original uh, front suspension strut, um, really just to show you the kind of layout of it. We'll cover it in more detail in the future. Um, very little of this we will be using on the new car when it comes back as the um, replacement is uh, kind of nestling over here. We've bought a whole kit of new springs and um, dampers and whatever, so that's, that's all good. Um, obviously, this is the, the stub axle here. A little bit dirty whatever bits but as i say we, we will clean all this up and there's a a link down here that uh, is useful which uh, manifests itself down over here number 36 which is they call it the vertical link so it's like a star shaped kind of um, bit of metal at the bottom to which everything seems to to join to it and as I say i'll go through in more detail next time the um, issue with ours was actually the, the, down the bottom here so um, looking at the uh, the ball joint assembly this one's not too bad you can appreciate that then um, moves around on a ball joint ours was leaking quite a lot it's held by a little circlip round on top of the rubber there there's a the packed grease inside we had quite a bit of leaking grease here so whilst the car was in I thought well I might as well see if we can get that replaced and sorted um, which he duly did for us uh, using lots of presses which I don't have and that kind of thing um, and then um, obviously the uh, suspension arm is kind of over the back there and uh, so that's all good but uh, here we had on the drag strut as referred to sometimes this actually goes into the the bodywork to the rear of the front wheel um, if you imagine the bodywork actually sits whoops whoops without moving it uh, losing control of it uh, the bodywork actually sits in between here so that's the uh, kind of drag strut and that's it's bolted through a, a kind of cavity in the back of the um, chassis rail itself underneath the car um, now on ours where it meets the bodywork just here it actually started to tear the metal and i'd encourage you if you're uh, looking at this video maybe just to check yours because they are quite renowned for um, wearing the metal around the actual um, uh, car itself so uh, just something to be aware of and um, to be mindful of when you're doing yours obviously various bushes um, around here uh, and with the new car, obviously, we'll we'll get these pressed out and uh, uh, get it uh, rebuilt, basically, when it comes to that. And uh, up at the top end was one of the problems as well, because um, not only as in this one, this is a 1973 set, set of rubbers inside, um, which, as you'll see, is the, uh, the gator there to design to keep crud out from going into the kind of piston and the... Uh, the actual shock itself um, ours had perished many times i'll show you in just a minute but at the very top which i hadn't appreciated i'm sure it's common sense when you know um but there's a there's actually a, a bush or a swivel bush on the top here that the whole kind of mechanism turns around on um and um again ours was very tired on ues 591s so the guy very kindly decided to do that for us as well whilst he had it up in the air and uh, saved us a job on the drive. Um, I'll show you a bit more detail about the um, well, how it should look up here, uh, but clearly uh, that needed replacing. Um, now he did report on occasions that these things can drop out of the car under certain circumstances if you've released all the, the bottom bolts and everything else underneath um, and uh, you think it's hanging on, on this. Sometimes they can actually break free and drop, drop down under the car. So really just a safety thing to be aware of on that front as well. So as I've mentioned, this one is off the uh, UNY 49M car and we will be rebuilding it. Um, what I did get was the uh, old one that came off UES 591S. So if you imagine this would actually sit at the top here in the top of the uh, suspension strut. And um, looking at it in detail, you can see just how um, tired it is. Uh, there's a little rubber kind of uh, bush in there that's uh, clearly had and seen better days. Um, and within there, you've actually got a... Um, a little bit of a, a kind of bearing almost um, that, that that turns and um, this one whilst not completely uh, knackered is pretty close to being knackered and urgently needed replacing so um, he decided to do that for us whilst it was in the garage and uh, so that is all good so that gives us a bit of confidence it has made a bit of a difference to the car actually it was a lot more 
um, firm. Here's a new one that we've got for UNY 49M. I just got out the packet, so I think you can see the difference there. Yes, it's shiny and new, but it's also looking a lot tighter and a lot smoother. And the whole leg just revolves around this little bearing in the top of the uh, strut inside the car. And if you imagine that's the uh, over here is the top of the uh, top of the uh, the turret, if you like, underneath the bonnet, where your uh, front suspension upper mounting strut goes and you've got the three bolts that are clearly visible whenever you open the the bonnet and uh, yeah so there you go so that's um that's where we're at uh, lots more to talk about struts i'm sure um i've got various other gizmos here as you may have seen in the distance um we've got a new kind of uh, shop there we've got various springs i think it's front and back there so we bought a kit and uh, we will be getting onto that when we get the car back which isn't too far away i know i'll keep talking about it but we will get it there in the end but um, yeah, it just gives you a few tips on what to watch for, things to be aware of, and maybe to check for yourselves uh, just to see how your car is. Um, and the difference, I must say, having had new bushes put in the top has been um, pretty pretty decent, I must say. I'm, I'm very impressed with um, that new replacement. It's a lot tighter at the front and only a short drive home we did back from, uh, back from the guys' um, ramp back home, but uh, it has made a big difference to the performance of the car. Happy days. And just to show you the state of the gaiters that came off UES 591S, this was uh, what was removed. So clearly um, was not very weather tight, let alone grip tight or any other crud that could have got in the, the gaps here. And uh, as I say, that sits actually in here behind the springs. So um, clearly important over time, it would let all sorts of dirt, muck and rubbish ingress into uh, the um, hydraulics of the system and over time would of course uh, not do it any favours so so there you go so that's um nicely finished off now <laughs> all right guys well i hope you found that uh, of use interesting a few little tips there i'm very glad that our um, local specialist did the exhaust as i mentioned and the studs and everything else that was way beyond my capability equally very good to have just changed over the tops of the struts there so it is a lot tighter with a few more bushes underneath as well so i'm very very pleased about that and uh, it has made a bit of a difference to the driving can't go too far just yet because we need to get the brackets done underneath the middle of the car otherwise this um, manifold is going to break just like the last one did and that's not in anybody's interest to do that so uh, we need to get on to that urgently meanwhile i know christmas is looming so uh, this time next week we'll be tucking into our turkey all being well around the world so i wish you all a very happy christmas uh, do look out next week for the first of two films christmas day and new year's day both happen to be saturdays uh, we've got this um, uh, roving report coming in from um, overseas i'll say no more than that and we'll check in then meanwhile have a great run up to christmas guys uh, enjoy a peaceful time of year with your families friends um, maybe have a the odd drinky or two and uh, we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. All the best. Cheers for now. Bye.